What's up everybody, this is Tyler here with Savvy Hut Tutorials. Today we'll be talking about how to create an increase or a lead into your trance slash techno, electronic, whatever music. This tutorial will be focused on the very basics of how to create this effect. There will be no add-ons or anything like that or effects added to it. Here goes. Alright, let's get this tutorial started. As always, the first thing we will do is go to File, New, and create a completely new project. It will be absolutely blank, so you should see nothing in your project. So in order to add that effect, the first thing we'll do is go up to Channels. Scroll down to where you see 3x OSC. Left click that and you'll see it pops up the 3x OSC or three times oscillator menu here. We won't do too much to affect the sound other than change it from a basic organ sound to more of a trance sound. Granted, you may not decide to use this in a final product, but it's nice to know if you don't already how to create this effect. So by hitting Q, you can hear what it sounds like now. And we will simply go in and create Sawtooth for these three oscillators. And again, I'm hitting Q to see what that sounds like. Next, I'll go over here to my course and drag both to the far left. All three should be over there. The next thing I'll do is go to my fine tune and just adjust it a little bit to the left here to about 10 cents and the other one to the right here to positive 10. So this is negative 10, this is positive 10. I'll hit Q. So it's a bit more trancey as you can hear. Next, I'll go into the 3X OSC by right clicking and going to Piano Roll. Here you'll see a piano on the side and we will begin adding the different notes. The first note you will want to add is a solid note that goes all the way across. And what I mean by that is, let's say for example, D4. This is a note that will play throughout the entire sound or the entire rise of the effect we will create. So here it is, if I just hit space bar, it will create it. Now the other notes I will add are called slider notes. You'll see up here in the upper left hand corner of the project, there is a, a, a ramp and a dash. For now, we won't worry too much about the dash or the portamento button, but we will use the slide button here. So left click the slide button, and now that you're located down here in the project again, we will left click on C5 about two bars into it and shorten it down so it ends at the same point that the other note ends as well. So both of them are now ending at the same time, but it begins shortly after. I'll hit spacebar and show you exactly what that will do. It will begin playing this note and as soon as it hits this bar here, it will slowly throughout the duration of the slide note creep up to match it at the very end. So here's what it sounds like. All right, and the next thing I did, or the final touch, is to at the very end build up anticipation and add a final note to show you it can not only slide to this one note, but other notes as well. So I'll begin that right here at the beginning of the four, located up here. You can tell which bar we're at, so you can see and put yours exactly where mine is. And I'll place it on F5. And make sure I shorten the note so it ends exactly when the other note below it, D4, ends as well. And let's hear what that sounds like. You can hear it goes up and then speeds up the last second. Ah, and like that kind of thing. So let's go back to our track playlist here and add this to our track one. So now you see pattern one is located up here in track one. Now I'm gonna scroll up to track two and it should be completely blank for you. I'll add a simple snare. I'm adding no instruments other than what's already been given to me when I clicked File New for FL Studio 11. And I'm on the snare. I will place that directly after. So let me zoom in a bit here for you. As soon as this rise ends, this will hit. And it's kind of nice to add some reverb, a little bit of echoey sounds to it. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will not do that. But in other tutorials, I'll kind of show you a bit more in detail 
what uh, what kind of effects you can add to the snare to make it sound a lot more abstract or whatever you want to call it. So I'll hit play and show you exactly what this will sound like so far. And that's when you could land and create whatever melody you want. For this tutorial, we'll scroll up to pattern three and I will add a four to floor beat with clap on every other beat and I'll include all the hi-hats here. And to add a little bit of stereo, I'll push the hats off to my left by simply hovering over this knob here on the left and left clicking it and scrolling down just a bit. And I'll put my claps on the right and I will add that pretty much immediately after my snare hits. So the next bar over, if you're looking exactly on the same tempo and everything that I'm checking out here, which is 130 beats per minute, I'll play that. And that would be a good time to bring in some synths or something like that. Uh, just to give you an idea. So appreciate you guys sticking with it here and I look forward to creating more detailed tutorials but if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the section below. If you like this video definitely give me a thumbs up. If you want go ahead and subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye. I'll go ahead and show you exactly what we'll be creating in the end and quickly go through create it, explain what I'm doing and how you can create the same effect. Alright here it goes.